what people who create jobs in this country want to see is something that is long term and predictable so they know what the lay of the land is. Again, as we continue to do these little things around the edges, we continue to run our country deeper in debt, and yet we don't create the kind of environment that's going to stimulate economic growth. So I'd love to look at doing away with lots of deductions, making our code simpler, lowering the marginal rates on everyone, which would generate more revenues due to dynamic growth. So that's the kind of thing I'd like to see happen. What we're doing, we know this is not about the payroll tax specifically. Much of this is about politics and trying to divide the, the you know, trying to, to divide and make sure the party differences are shown. At the end of the day, if you want to know my bet, I bet the payroll tax ends up passing. But I think it's probably going to be ended up grouped with lots of other things that are very pro-growth oriented. Well, let me Again, ask you, though, do you think it's okay. going to pass? All right. I think most people probably agree with you. But what kind of politics are played here? The president was very clear today. He said the Republican Party hates tax increases. But he said they would deny a $1,500 tax cut for middle class people, and they don't want to raise a small amount of taxes on millionaires. Now, that is class warfare. That is left-wing populism. But it's there. Does he have Republicans over a barrel on this? Will you all wind up supporting the millionaire surtax, even though it's down to 2% instead of 35 no, I don't think that's going to happen. And, and I just want to know you and I talked about this before, but remember in May of 2008, uh, President Bush came out with a temporary measure. It was $160 billion where checks were sent out to people to stimulate the economy. Again, something that was temporary. I voted against that, too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that those types of things, and that didn't. It did not stimulate the economy. It doesn't appear that, that this payroll tax reduction has stimulated the economy this year. And again, what we do when we do these temporary tinkering with the edges things, Larry, is we just continue to increase our deficit. We do not create the certainty that people want to see to get this economy going. And I just don't think it's good well, policy. I think you're and that's dead why right. I, pose. I mean, as a supply sider, I think you're dead right. There's no permanent incentive effect. So I will ask you finally, why doesn't the GOP have a unified position where you're going? Why not say, let's stop tinkering, as you correctly note, and let's go back and do full scale corporate and personal tax reform for certainty and incentives over the long run? And, oh, by the way, let's have a Simpson-Bowles deficit reduction. Let's reopen the so-called super committee. Why not just stand back and say, here's the right thing to do? Well, that's what exactly my press release said last week when I voted against this. I talked to Erskine Bowles today on the phone uh, to touch base about a number of issues. But, Larry, I think something along those lines, and again, the devils are in the, the, devil's in the detail. As you know, there's a, there are a few gaps in Bowles-Simpson. But I think, I think the type of tax reform that has been laid out there is exactly the kind of thing that can pass the Senate and House and create tremendous economic growth. And so Certainly, the deficit reduction component that goes with it has to be done. Right. So, so that's where we need to go. Yep. I, I agree with you. And by the way, tinkering like this, yep. you know, we get pleasure out of passing things around here, even if they're not good. I don't. But the fact is, it takes away from that effort that you're talking about right now, where we really do something that's good for the long we run. We need a sensible, long-run plan. And I think it would be embraced by most Americans. But unfortunately, we don't know about it. Anyway, Senator Bob Corker, thank you ever so thank much. You much for your time, sir. Thank As you, always, sir. we appreciate it.